This is a fast and furious obstacle course. Thousands will participate in the Spartan race tomorrow at AT&T Stadium. And it's not just for the best athletes. There's an opportunity for kids as well to have some fun. And joining us this morning is race director Craig Drummond. Good morning. Good to see you. So is, is the race all inside the stadium? Yeah, good morning, Lauren. Uh, actually, we have some obstacles outside the stadium, too, ah. but the majority is inside the stadium on every single level. So okay. we're on the field, too, so we have full field access, which is great. Wow, goodness. So, so basically, this is like a three-mile sprint race, but then some obstacles get in your way, like what we're seeing right here, some of these obstacles. How many obstacles are we talking about? So we got 23 obstacles right now um, throughout the course for adults and kids have about 12 obstacles on their course as well. Yeah, okay. So, so you're watching the kids go through right now and they're doing a couple of theirs. Yeah, how fun is this for kids? So kids as young as four, right, can, can participate and what can they expect? Yep. Yeah, so kids young, as young as four to 13 years old, uh, they can expect uh, to again get full access to the field like you're seeing right now. Um, every single, almost every level of the stadium they're going to, they're going to have a couple, uh, couple loops throughout um, the upper concourses, uh, lower concourses. They even get to go outside a little bit too to experience the oh, nice uh, hot weather out. That so, is neat. So when it comes to the yep. uh, the adult course, let's talk about the adult course because, and we're seeing some video from uh, from a, an event that took place uh, elsewhere. But this is, uh, I, I mean, yep. this is tough. And, and is there one obstacle that you use over and over again because everyone dreads it, like it's the hardest thing that there is? <laughs> Yeah, um, I mean, we got a couple different ones. We have rope climb, which is always hard. Um, sandbag carry, depending on the route. Um, we have sandbag carry here in the upper concourse, so they're going all the way up to the top of the stadium, uh, running around with sandbags, which is always that kind of, that killer of the legs. Um, we have multi-rig, which is a bunch of rings that people have to cross. And then we have a salt air bike, which is what you see kind of in the CrossFit games. Um, that is also out here that people have to, they have to bike on the air bike until uh, they hit 15 calories. So. Oh, it's not for the faint of heart by any means. And this is something people all over the world but say. But it is, it, it is all fun. Yeah, but this is something that I, I know you guys do all over the world. I read there are about 200 similar events, more than 30 different countries. How unique is it to do it inside a place like AT&T Stadium? It's, uh, it's extremely unique. So our stadium series, we have 10 stadiums, baseball parks uh, all around oh. the country. Um, but AT&T, just, just the sheer magnitude of this place is amazing. Uh, we have so much room to run around and full access to the full stadium. So it's really, this place is unique on its own where we have complete reign of whatever we want to do here. And um, it's, everything's bigger in Texas. So everything's, our size on the distance is even be, hopefully pushing it to be our longest stadium race that we have. So oh, it's really? definitely a, uh, stadiums are, stadiums are beasts of their own. Well, we do have the top athletes, I have to tell you. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining yeah, us this yes, morning. We do. I appreciate it. The Spartan Race again no tomorrow, AT&T Stadium. You're going to find a link with all the information on our website, fox4news.com. It is